So I studied sports with a little bit of business. Um, so I actually spent my freshman year of college at Butler University, did business in the business school there, and then transferred over to Ohio State where it was more of like a sport industry focus. So um, it's pretty much all I could really pay attention to if it was sports related. So it's basically all the general business classes, but sports related, so sports marketing, sports finance, law, all that stuff. Starting probably when I was like 13 years old, I would uh, resell sneakers with my best friend. Um, never had like a real job or anything and my parents would always kind of make fun of me but um, I was making more money doing what I was doing by myself so uh, that kind of taught me independence in an early age and I also was able to kind of create this sports betting business online throughout college where it grew to be like I think there's probably 2,000 people in that community now so kind of always been my my own boss in that sense. I actually ended up having a falling out with my friend that I was running my, my business with. So I was just kind of looking for similar opportunities where I was able to create something for myself because I knew I did not want to work for other people. I had a very good person who did you know, my interview process. I, I started a little later than I actually did my interview. So he continued to you know, keep up with me and call me. And we built that relationship even before I started, which was, I guess, really good for me. But yeah, to be honest, I kind of just came in and was you know, curious about what was being presented. I had to get over people not having the same drive as me, if that kind of makes sense. So very early on, I struggled with working with people and training people because I couldn't understand if they you know, were bad at something that I was really good at. It came really easily to me. Um, it was kind of hard for me to you know, have the patience to actually teach them through it and understand that not everybody's gonna be able to do. You know, I may be really good at something that somebody else is not very good at and they might be very good at something that I'm not very good at. So I kind of had to learn that that balance and that patience. Me being really good at the sales is not gonna get me to where I wanna be as a, as a person, as a, a business owner, obviously. So I had to just kinda, you know, network to figure out how to fix that. What I like about it is like, you, you are who you are. Like the results speak for themselves. So um, I've kinda always been doing that for myself. Like coming from sports, like if you wanna play, you gotta work hard, you gotta be good. It's the same thing with this. Like, if you actually wanna be rewarded, um, like you are your worth, essentially. If you're going to start, you got to be fully committed because if you're not fully committed, um, the people training you aren't going to give you your 100%, right? So I always say to, you know, everybody starts, if you give yourself 100%, we'll give you our 100%. If you're giving yourself 10%, you can't expect us to give 10% because if you're not even serious about your own growth and opportunity, um, you can't expect us to be, you know, match that equally. So I would probably say my grandfather, he basically took over his father's sprinkler company when his father died at a pretty young age. So they operate out of here in a King of Prussia. He actually was able to build his own business. So I kind of always looked up to that in that sense. So maybe that's probably where I got my entrepreneurial spirit from, I suppose. But um, yeah, he's always been a great mentor for me. The Eagles. Uh, I'm going to say Ohio State football. So that, that takes a, yeah, Ohio State football.